Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Dark Fall 2 Lights Out, Director's Cut. In the last episode, um, we got to this area, I'm not sure where it is. Do I want to go up or down? Uh, oh, I can only look up. What the f- oh. Okay. Oh, and this is back where the dynamite is. I gotcha. So I guess we can only go down. Down more. Into the depths of darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Come to talk with you again. Okay. Okay, there must be a way forward. Why can't I go down that way? Hello? Hello? God damn it. Walk through, here we come. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Grill, yada, yada. Elevator, turn around, turn around. Wait, what? Enter through hole. Turn around, see the dynamite with the timer. Let's not fool around. Turn right, go around until the grill ledge at left. Climb the ladder down at right top of elevator. Turn around to see the other side. Look around and look at a green toolbox. There's a green toolbox around here? Am I missing something? Is that a toolbox? Was I not supposed to go all the way down? I don't think there was... Ah, oh, Jesus. Blah, blah, blah. Climb down ladder at right until the top of elevator I am. Turn around. Go to the other side. Okay. There. Look, toolbox. Dios Gerard Magnus. Now, you'd think this is the kind of thing I'd want to take with me. But then again, my character from 1912, he doesn't know what the hell a keycard is or a ID badge. What the fuck is this? Well, whatever it is, I have it. Was it a sonic screwdriver? I don't know much about Doctor Who, but I know a sonic screwdriver is a thing that's from Doctor Who. I know what Daleks and Weeping Angels are, I think. Okay. The hell am I looking at? D-E-O-S. Service Report. Magnus Gerard... Gree. Description. Essential elevator work. There is a sub... There is substantial damage to the upper level of the elevator. Following miscalculations made during minor explosive operations in the west shaft, a pro estimated time for repairs is six days, based on the fitting of new drive unit using laser screwdriver. I guess that's this thing. Laser screwdriver. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. If we have a laser screwdriver, why would we need a regular screwdriver like the one that was over there? Now I am very confused as to what's going on. Okay. Well, might as well, uh... 
go down here. Yep, this is an elevator. Oh, this is comforting. Nice red mood lighting going on. Oh, this must be the de decontamination room. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. So, whatever is beyond this door at 2... Hmm? Was there a, a reason for me to go this way? Or was this just so I could look at the pretty lights in the wall? I feel like this was just an excuse to look at the pretty lights in the wall. <sighs> okay. What? Okay. Let's, uh... How about we just move forward? Okay. What the devil am I looking at? Okay, that's locked. There must be something to do in here, why- oh, hello. Oh. Can I take the coffee cup? No. Okay, there's something that way. Pitch blackness that way, ominous red light that way. What the hell is that thing? Okay, nice light of the outside. And unknown object over here. Okay. Back to the darkness then. And the ominous red lighting. Oh, oh boy. What am I, in a furnace? I hope not. As much as I like warm weather, I don't think I'd like getting cooked alive. Okay, now where the devil am I? Please leave this area as you found it. Got it. Nick everything I can. Leave nothing for anyone else. I have to free some sort of unknown entity. The consequences of which I do not know. Which would make you think, you know, maybe just go back to your own time and leave as previously mentioned, but nah. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No? Eh, worth a shot. Oh. Huh. Well, I don't think I have a code for that. But I can go that way. But let's check and see really quick if I would happen to have a code in my notes somewhere. And I have directions. I mean, I doubt that the numbers that I have are for this. It was clearly on that pod from before. Yeah, I don't have a code for that. Okay, so let's just open this door then and see what we got going on over here. Okay, and that's back to that room. Okay, so there's something over there, pitch black darkness over there. Let's go towards this thing. 
Dios Deep Exploration of Space. Okay, so what I'm freeing must be an alien. That's what I'm gathering just from these pictures alone, because these look like the models. Like, okay, that's model one. That's model two. This is model three, and model four is scratched out. But I'm guessing this is the model that we currently have to deal with some sort of alien entity. Eh. Okay, it looks like I have nothing for this room. Alright. Guess it's, uh, time to... <clears throat> D-E-O-S. Deep Exploration of Space. About Dios. Founded by Professor Tracy Heath in 2034. <whistles> That's deep future. Following the perfection of transmat technology by the Cambridge Institute of Matter Transmission, the global organization goes from strength to strength based upon the theories of dark matter manipulation and the stability of antimatter creation. Heath presented a possible transmat scenario to the global science community of er as early as 2024. With funding from sources, including generous backing from Haddon Industries, Heath was able to build her first deep space probe in 2035, named Ophelia. The probe has f it had its first launch from the newly built facility at SE037, the Cornish coast. And it looks like 4 once again is uh, grayed out a bit. Oh boy, there's more. Malachi, following the failure of Probe 3, so Malachi is Probe 4 then, hmm. Juan Luis was released a far advanced, far more advanced AI and transmat system should be installed in this fourth probe in the series. Oh, so it might not be an alien at all. The voices we're hearing isn't ghost, it's an AI, and the AI wants to be freed. But it seems to have some sort of control over spirits? Okay, so there's some gray areas here, but there's definitely something going on. The AI would have to have the power to self-execute the matter transmission sequence and effectively control its own launch and directional pathfinding using highly advanced stellar recognition database. Okay. So, I'm guessing, this is just me spitballing here, but I'm guessing what happened was this deep space probe got flung into a wormhole which led it back to the past of Earth, where it was stuck there and it wanted to go back to its time, so it needs someone to help it somehow. And that's why it's looking for Benjamin the map maker. Because he might be able to make it a map. Again, just spitballing. I'm probably wrong, but that sounds roughly right. No ground control would be necessary to manipulate the probe's movements in the outer atmosphere and beyond into deep space. Malachi is also able to locate anomalies in undefined space matter independently of human instruction. Thanks to the new AI software on board, this effectively gives Malachi a mind of its own, and allows the probe to make calculated decisions and affect the nature of matter itself. Some pressure groups can show concern that giving a machine the power of matter manipulation was unethical and potentially dangerous. No shit! Never one to taunt the public, Heath installed a fail-safe system known as the Keeper. This standalone function is integral to Malachi's AI independent and independent queries, all decisions made by the probe. In the event of mission failure, the Keeper software is able to override the main AI and return the probe to the point and time of origin. Okay, so Malachi just wants to go back home. It needs someone to go in 
to it and activate the keeper failsafe, I guess? It can activate the keeper failsafe on its own. So somehow it teleported us through various time by making gateways with its matter manipulation. I don't understand how matter manipulation gives you time travel, but I really, I don't know. Launched at text missing, Malachi will return to SE037 upon completion of its mission, awaiting further information. Okay. Mitsuyo Taku. Oh, she's kind of hot. Oh, wait, is, are these their rooms? Well, I can't go into them, so I'm assuming yes. Mar yeah, that's an A. It's kind of hard because it's really small and circular. Or maybe it's an E. I don't know. Marie or Maria Ortega. Also kind of hot. See who else we got? We got Ivan Crossed, Vimel Dahia. I probably butchered that, but it is light green on green and really hard to see what those letters are supposed to be. You also have Ah Magnus Grell. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to look at this guy. We got Corbin Hart. Is that a camera? Yeah, that, that's a camera up there. Okay, and it looks like someone's birthday. Okay, they were eating. And someone was drinking. Wait, are these people missing too? Are these fortune cookies? Anger is an energy. Use it wisely. Do not waste your days in trying to prolong them. A friend in need should get their act together. Well, that's just mean. What a mean thing to say. A friend in need should just get their act together. What losers. Okay. So they were eating, looks like Chinese or Japanese food. Why is it I never seem to... Hmm. I see a picture of a plane. Can I look at other stuff in the background, or is that not a thing I can do? Okay, and that was to the microwave. Hello. Why would I... whatever. Okay. Happy birthday, Ivan! Oh, hey! It's Ivan's birthday! Let's celebrate his birthday. Yay! Okay, it's a recipe for chow mein that because of the background I can't read all the ingredients. Data log 005. Taku, the party. Forget the cooking. A handy delete function means that means I can use this data pad as a notepad and record the actions of other crew while it looks like I am cooking. Magnus is twitchy and unpredictable. There's an atmosphere that doesn't lend itself to a birthday party. Poor Ivan. I think he feels that it's his fault. This wasn't helped by the mall. It seems he too thinks that Magnus is losing it, but lacks subtlety in his questioning. I really don't think that I think being down here is affecting your sanity is the best way to say to a possible psychotic. Is the best thing to say to a possible psychotic. No, yeah, that's probably not something you should fucking do. Okay, so I need something I don't have to interact with those. And I'm guessing this takes me back to 2004 because I remember a black and white picture of similar appearance. Wait, really? 
Huh. It's not? 